Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have my FabFitFun Winter 2020 edit sale items here. I am going to dive into unboxing them. I got them fairly quickly, I feel. I have personally never had any issues with FabFitFun and shipping, but I know a lot of people have and a lot of people get pretty unhappy with them because of that. But for me, I've never had any issues. So I did get it fairly quickly. The sale closed for annual members. It's open for seasonals still right now, I think. So it hasn't even closed for seasonals. I think it closed for annual members something like a week and a half ago. Anyway, so we're gonna get into it. What did I spend? I spent, oh, it's not on here. I spent under 200. I usually aim for under $200. And I think I spent something like 170 as usual. I will put what I got and what I paid for it in the description box below. So the first thing I got is this yoga mat strap. I like doing yoga a lot and this was only five bucks and I have been wanting a mat strap so that I can carry my yoga mat to and from classes if I ever go to class again after the quarantine is over but it looks like this and you just put each end of your yoga mat in it like this. And the cool thing about this is it also doubles as a yoga strap, so you can do stretches and whatnot with it. So I thought that was really great. This feels like really good quality. I love the pink. So I'm excited about that. It was a really good price, five bucks. I was into it. And then the next thing I got are the Cuddle Duds Chunky Boot Socks. It was a pack of two, and I am a Cuddle Duds fan. This is actually Cuddle Duds. I didn't do this on purpose. This is a Cuddle Duds like cardigan type thing. It has thumb holes. Who doesn't love thumb holes? And so these socks are the same brand. I did a Cuddle Duds haul for Black Friday actually. I went on to Kohl's because some of my Cuddle Duds clothes were wearing out and I wanted to see if I could replace them. These are incredibly soft. So what I really like about this brand is the fabric is just so soft and like the right amount of stretchy and it just feels really, really good. So I got the boot socks. They're all like clipped together, but there's this pair and then there's this pair. So soft. I thought about getting a second one to put in my gift pile. It's like a good generic gift for a coworker or something. And I didn't, I should have. Ooh, and then this was only four bucks. I'm really happy to start seeing some things that are only $4 in sales. I think in the Cyber Monday and Black Friday sale, I saw some things that were four bucks. Like they had a milk makeup lip mask that I actually bought for my mom. I wonder how she likes it, I should ask her. So this is the Kaja Heart Melter Moisture Melt Gloss Stick. That's the package. And then it looks like this. People say really, really, oops, it looks like this. People say really, really good things about this. It's adorable. I'm not gonna click it up because the one complaint that I've seen about this is that you can't retract it. So once you've clicked it up, you can't retract it. So if you got this, keep that in mind. But otherwise I am, ex oh, I think I just clicked it. Oh, it seems to have like a pen clicky thing. Nothing happened. I think we're okay. Anyway, so I'm excited to try this. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, I do review videos of all the products that I get from FabFitFun, so I will talk about this and let you know what I think. I have on lip color right now, so I don't really want to put it on over that. I am so frustrated. I did my nails yesterday. Look at that. I used an OPI nail strengthener, then an OPI color, then the OPI rapid dry top coat. I got the nail strengthener and the rapid dry top coat in the add-on sale. And I got them knowing that I've never really been terribly impressed with OPI nail polishes, which is a really, really unpopular opinion. But for me, they always do this kind of thing. So I got them thinking, you know what? I'm gonna give them another try and see what I think. And I think the same thing I've always thought. This is maddening. I wore gloves to do the dishes. I washed my hair. So that's one thing that I did. But I did this yesterday. That is really maddening. Anyway, if you've ever Bad luck with OPI nail polishes. Comment down below, what's your secret? I've never had good luck with them. Their metallics are good, but metallic and glittery nail polishes for some reason inherently just last forever. They're a nightmare to take off actually, but oh, this is so frustrating. I have the same experience with the Essie nail polishes. They've never worked well for me. I'm just gonna go through my stash and just get rid of all OPI and Essie nail polishes I have in retaliation for this experience. Okay. 
Okay, so the next thing that I got and I maxed out on it is the Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant Pink Grapefruit and Glucomanon Extract. That's the box. They always have really simple packaging. And then here's the package. If you missed it, I just recently did an updated review video on all the Grown Alchemist products that I have used and I counted them. I've used 12. I will link that in the description box below. The thing about this too is my husband has caught on and he really, really likes these and he uses it as well when I have one in the shower. So I have three, so I am set here. This is what I spent the majority of my money on. And then speaking of my husband, I got him the Green Goo Cold Sore. I don't know. I don't get them. I'll give this to him. I'll report back to you if it works for him. I'm hoping he'll even remember to use it. I don't know. I hope that I never ever get cold sores being married to him. So far I haven't. We've been together six years. Somebody commented on my video saying she's been with her husband 10 years and he gets them and she still doesn't. So there's hope. What was your, what was it? Julie. Julie. That was your name. Hi Julie if you're watching. And then I got the Fruitia Peach Lotion in one of the recent sales, like, I don't know, three sales ago. And so I picked up the quince. They didn't have the peach available in this sale, but I got this because my husband, I got a few things for my husband in the sale. This is for my husband and I got this because he likes the peach one, not because of the scent, but because he feels like it is fast absorbing and doesn't leave his hands sticky. And he has very cracked, dry hands in the winter and he's trying to be better about putting on lotion. So I went ahead and grabbed this because he is powering through the peach one. So hopefully he likes this as well. The peach one smells great. I described it like you're standing in the middle of a peach orchard and you can just not only smell the peaches, but kind of like the fresh, greenery around you. It smells really, really good, not overwhelming. And I had to look up quince. I have never seen or tried a quince before, but apparently they're, they're similar to pears. That's kind of what it smells like. Borderline apple, but it's not an overwhelming scent. I really, really like it. And it smells like the actual fruit, not like artificial fruit. Oh, I did end up getting these. So I didn't check my cart like the last two days of the sale. I just didn't, I didn't care to. And I just thought what's in there is fine. I didn't feel the need to cut anything the last time I had looked at it, so I just thought to myself, you know what, I'm just gonna let it go and be surprised at what's still in there. So right now I'm surprised, so I got the Nails Ink Thirsty Feet and the Thirsty Hands. My feet are very thirsty, I hate to admit it. I miss pedicures so very much. I look forward to getting one again. In the meantime, I will try this. It's a two-pack, and this is a two-pack as well. So Thirsty Feet and Thirsty Hands, I'm thinking I will give one of these to my husband for sure because like I just said he is going through all my lotion and then the next thing I got is something for my husband this is the living proof style lab forming paste this is supposed to be really really good for short hair and my husband has short hair so I got this for him and then the last two things I got are the Sigma brushes both of them the Sigma edge kabuki and the Sigma bake kabuki this is the edge one and I was really really curious what it looked like so let's pull this one out first so it's like this. I wish they had more pictures of it from all angles in the sale. This looks really good for like getting in there with your, oh, that's really soft. I've never tried a Sigma brush before. I've heard really good things. It's kind of bent. I'm sure that will correct itself. Oh, that feels so good. And then here is the Bake Kabuki. So this one looks like it's a little bit squished too, although you can tell that this one is meant to be like this shape outward here because of the way the metal is hammered in right there or is pinched in, whatever you want to say. And so this is for baking. These are very soft. These feel very, very good. So I'm excited to try these. Yay. I think I'm doing pretty good on brushes. I think these will be the last ones I get for a while now. My brushes live over here. So that's it. That's everything I got from the FabFitFun sale. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I would love that. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.